for the Crown of Glory Championship title, the biggest prize in all of Glory Pro Wrestling. And it's the very first event. And it's against this man, the challenger, Myron Reed, who qualified for this title shot three months ago in a six-way match at our first event. The thing with Glory Pro here, you have to earn your shot at the title. There are no freebies. You must qualify. And this man did. He'll be taking on the next competitor, making his way to the ring, the gift, Jason Kincaid. Yes. Eccentric superstar, the gift, Jason Kincaid, the former NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship. This is going to be a good one. Ben Simon here on commentary along with the millennial, Danny Adams. Danny, this is going to be a good main event. Took you long enough to introduce me, but that's okay, Ben Simon. You're lucky. I kind of like you. I don't love you, though. Yeah, here comes Jason Kincaid, the first ever Crown of Glory champion for his first defense of that beautiful, beautiful belt. And it's against Myron Reed, a man with a lot of buzz and a lot of attention over the past year, but has he really faced the test like he is tonight? The main event, Glory Pro, long may we reign for the Crown of Glory Championship against a very legitimate competitor, Jason Kincaid. I declare this next bout to determine the Glory Pro Champion. It has been authorized and sanctioned by the Glory Pro Championship Committee. On this day, May 7th, 2017, these two athletes, Hot Fire, Byron Reed, <laughs> and your Glory Pro Champion, Jason the Gift Kincaid. Both men being told the, the last minute instructions by referee Brandon Toll as he will hoist this belt high. Everything has been made official. This is for the Crown of Glory title. And one thing you'll notice, Danny Adams, before these guys even had the introductions, they were shaking hands. This is a match with a lot of respect behind it, and both of these guys know what the other is capable of. Well, that's exactly what the Crown of Glory Championship is all about. It's about respect. It's about determining who the best wrestler in the entire world is. And, of course, a kid like Myron Reed respects Jason Kincaid, but that is not going to stop him from trying to get the upper hand on Kincaid, as you just saw. Trying to attack him before Kincaid is ready, but Kincaid always ready, and always ready to do something absolutely insane like that. Whoa! Not Reed rolls out of it. There's no arm drag here. And a Hurricane Rana, the same deal though. He can't take these guys down. Standoff to start this match. 
Both men hitting the ropes. Kincaid out, back in. Byron with a big throw. Lands right on his feet. The athleticism being shown is unmatched. Would you agree, Ben Simon? Well, look at this. Leapfrog. Drop kick. What a Myron kick. Reed. Myron Reed taking down Jason Kincaid finally. And that is a feat in and of itself. Because Jason Kincaid, you see how this guy moves. You see how he works on those ropes. You don't know where this guy is going half the time. And what is Jason Saint doing out here again? He was out here last at the last kick crowning achievement and, and the crown of glory championship match and nobody knew what he was doing there either. But here he is at Long Mary Rain, the same situation. Holy cow! Oh, no. that a was power slam point. onto the apron. Well, you bring up a good point. I really don't know why Jason Sane is out here. I, I hear that he... He did offer his managerial services, you know, as an, an agent um, to the finalists of the Crown of Glory Championship Tournament. However, I don't know if anyone's actually accepted that. I don't think so, and maybe he's just uh, trying to make his case even more for one of these two. You might, oh, 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 beer or water or something. Uh, just some liquid went flying. And Myron Reed is up. Oh, they're coming our way. They're coming our way, Danny. Are you going to hide under the table? No, we're up on a stage here, so I'm okay. Kincaid just stalking Myron Reed. That's the best word for it, really. He's not giving too much of a chase here. He's just kind of like, hey, wherever you go, don't worry. I'll be right there behind you. Kincaid climbing these stairs. There's stairs over to the side here at Spalding Club. Kincaid taking all of the chances and it's been paying off so far. I think that's going to be the story of this match is who's going to take that big chance, but whose big chance is not going to pay off first, Ben Simon? Who's going to make that first mistake? Well, it really could come down to it. These two are very evenly matched up. And we talked about Jason Saint out here earlier. Whoa! Oh, I thought he kicked him. He was just slapping the turnbuckle. That was a guy blocking my view. Sorry about that, Danny. I don't forgive you. It's okay. And Myron Reed's not going to forgive Jason Kincaid after this. But he counters. Reverse suplex. Right into the turnbuckle. Mm, 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 mm. Absolutely brutal. Turnbuckle suplex, only a two count. You know, uh, Myron Reed was also, uh, he, he, uh, Jason Saint discussed his managerial services with Myron Reed as well after Reed won his six way qualifier to make this match here tonight. Do you think he took him up on that offer, Ben Simon? It's, I, the, same, it's the same thing with Jason Kikeda. I don't know. I don't know why he's out. I suppose anything's possible. This is Glory Pro. This is Long May We Reign. Anything can happen tonight. We could see a new champion, or Kincaid, who has been dominating this contest. He might might have an easier time than he thought. Right. Well, as far as we know, to put the Jason Saint issue to rest, he's neutral. He's got to be. He wasn't announced as a second for anybody, so he's just out here watching. He's scouting. That's it. That's all we we know right now. Well, somebody should charge him for a ticket. No one invited him to be out here, as far as I know. Well, you'll have to take that up with management. I am management. Well, you learn something new every day. Jason Kincaid, a little bit to pick up Myron Reed, and he paid for it. That'll wake you up. Kincaid's so deliberate. Reed's got to take advantage. Maybe he can use his speed and pick up the pace here. That's exactly what he's trying to do to get some momentum going right now. But Kincaid almost feels, it looks like he doesn't even feel pain. Oh, if he, don't, he doesn't feel pain, he's not going to feel anything if he gets knocked out by one of those shots. <laughs> A war cry from Jason Kincaid. Myron Reed, nice splash with the forearm in the corner. And efficient, getting back with the drop kick. And again, to the other side of the ring, back, record time, but over the top, doesn't connect this time. 
smart from Kincaid to cut him off on the top there. Reed had something giant in mind. Now he's in a real dangerous spot up on top of that top rope. Well, Reed was just hanging. He was in a bad shape right there. He was just hanging off of that top turnbuckle. Holy cow! Oh. Rude comments out of the mouth of Jace Kincaid. That, that, that's pretty uncharacteristic of him, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that kind of surprised me. Reed fighting back. Reed's gonna go up and over. Sunset flip power. Oh, sunset flip power bomb. Reed takes advantage. Almost three. He's gotta stay on Kincaid here. This is his chance. He's been looking for <laughs> looking for it all match. And he really thought that was gonna be it. Surprised, if nothing else, on the face of Myron Reed, hot fire as he calls himself, a man from Louisville, Kentucky, the home of the greatest, Muhammad Ali, and many others. Great athletic town. Trying to suplex him all the way to the outside of the ring. Holy, oh my goodness. How dangerous. He's gonna go over. Oh, they both go out, holy cow. Kincaid, his neck, did you see the angle at which he went over? I think Kincaid probably got the worst of it. Extremely dangerous, but I, I'm sure they both got the worst of that. I can't see who might have come out on top on an exchange like that. Maybe just us, Ben Simon. Maybe we're the only ones who come out on top. Yes, the fans win, right? Are you calling me just a fan? We're fans right now. You're a fan of me, I know, I get it. Well, we could be looking at a pretty anticlimactic double count out here. It's, it would be a successful first defense, but nope, nope, they're in. Mm. The intensity out of Kincaid. Reed's got to match it, or I don't think he's going to have much of a chance going forward. Kincaid, back suplex, so reverse. Reed, oh, a running high single leg. Shooting star press. Only two, man, he was, he was so up high in the air for that, I thought that might have been it. Myron Reed showing his amazing athleticism with moves like that. This is his chance. He, he absolutely has to take advantage. Dish out something huge right here. And Kincaid counters with a big boot. Yeah, he ran right into that foot. Oh, Reed recovers from the ring. He jumped all the way up there for a Hurricane Rana. Springboard cutter. Myron Reed for the win. New champion. Now oh, he's in the ropes. He's in the ropes. A little too close to the ropes. I'm not sure that Kincaid would have kicked out of it if he was not that close to the ropes. Reed's got to be smarter. He's got to drag his opponent away from those ropes. It doesn't take long. Just a split second. Just yank him over in the middle of the ring and you got him. Absolutely. It might have cost him the title here. You know who wouldn't have made that mistake? Go ahead, guess. Danny Adams. That's right. Yeah, okay. How'd I guess that? Oh, big elbow. Myron Reed is going to come off that, those ropes. Oh, he can get him. Follows him in. He was right behind him. What athleticism from Kincaid to balance on that second rope and deliver. A devastating move to Myron Reed. I guess that was a suplex right there. Yeah, I, I tell you what, Myron Reed, Reed was probably really surprised. <laughs> he gets up on the ropes, he's like, oh my gosh, you're here already. That's probably exactly what he said. Yeah. Exactly how you just said it. Ken Cade's got Myron Reed. Suplex position. Springs him off the top. Reed's gonna try to take him backwards with an inverted run. No. Oh, what a counter from the game. Oh, oh a, a forward cutter. Two. 
that is one of Kincaid's favorite moves. But it wasn't enough. Kincaid can't believe it. He thought that was it. But Myron Reed really being tested, but he's really been up to the task today. I think, I think he might be able to pull this out, but he's got to get back to his feet. He's got to come up with something absolutely devastating to put Jason and Kincaid down. But Kincaid is not going to go quietly. Kincaid's taking down the straps, as they say. Who says that? Everyone says it. It's a mm. cliche now. Kincaid! No! Oh! Oh! One arm! Spanish fly in the center of the ring. Only two. Is that a Spanish fly? I thought Spanish fly was just from the top rope. Oh, who the heck knows? I don't know. It was impressive, whatever it was. Get to your feet, Myron Reed. Schoolboy, Kincaid. It's only two. Ironman carry position here, but Reed won't let go of the ropes. He's, uh-oh, uh -oh. Brandon Toll just got kicked in the head, I think, or the arm. That's right, his bad shoulder. He has a bad shoulder, huh? Brandon will tell you about it all day. Oh, that's not good for him either. He's gonna have one of their bad shoulder right now. Toll is down, he is down, and he is out of commission. And the fans are not happy, but this is just one of those unfortunate circumstances. We need another ref out here. What's, what's Jason Saint doing? He should not be this close to the ring, I tell you that. That's a dangerous man. With a ribbon in his hair. He's got the, he's got the belt. He's got the Crown of Glory title belt itself. You know what they say about men with ribbon in their hair? No. What do they say? Never trust one. But whose side is Jason Saint on? Who, who's he gonna help out here? Be on anybody's side. We've got a damn match going on here. He has no business in. He says something to Kincaid. He must be. He must be in the corner of Kincaid. Well, Kincaid grabbed the bell. I'm sure he wants this to be a clean match. side either. Well, oh no, oh, Jason Kincaid just spikes Myron Reed into the canvas. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? Well, it becomes Baracus. What's Baracus doing here? He doesn't even wrestle here. What's going on? What? Why is Baracus in the ring? Takes Kincaid out. It, who, it, whose side is he on? Is, is he on his own well, side? He's not on Kincaid's side, that's for sure. And who's taking sides here? We need to have this damn match for this championship. What the heck else could happen? Got his eyes set on Myron Reed now. What's this? Both men taken out. What is going on, Ben Simon? What is this? I don't know what's going on. We need a ref out here. We need an official of some sort. This match is obviously over, if not officially. I didn't hear the bell. Baracus comes in. Why was he out here? Baracus just comes in, ruins this match, and now he's leaving. Or maybe he's not. We thought we would get some answers to the Jason Saint situation, but... Well, Baracus has Jason Saint now. He's helping him out. Now we've got way more questions than answers. What do these guys want? Maybe, just maybe Ben Simon, maybe Jason Saint is the smartest man in the room if we can't figure out what he wants. Well, I don't know what he's going to get out of ruining this match. I don't know what Baracus gets out of ruining this match. But as far as we know, this match is still going on. Toll has the cover. He's got the... Oh, oh. Toll was making the, the, the count. I didn't even see him come to... 
come to life there, but no, there was a kick out. This match is still active. There hasn't been a bell. We still need a winner. But both these men have been absolutely devastated, not only by each other, but by Barakas. And who knows what that was about, but you're absolutely right. I think it's gonna come down to the next big move. Whatever these guys got left in the tank, they gotta lay it all out there. This is for the Crown of Glory Championship. Forget about the interference, focus on the task at hand. Well, they have to, there's no other choice. Oh. Reed getting the best with those shots. Hot fires hitting the ropes, but once again, Kincaid follows him in. Very smart of Jason Kincaid. Back and forth. Back and forth, something's gotta give. Someone's gotta make a mistake, someone's gotta come up with something huge. Right here it is! Myron Reed over the corner post onto his opponent. Oh, oh no! Oh, how are they already in the ring? This has gotta be it! No! challenge and I think he surpassed everybody's expectations today there was interference there was shenanigans but at the end of the day I hear Myron Reed's music he's the champion I really didn't think that Jason Kincaid once I saw him last time would walk away after his amazing inaugural performance with no title defenses but but Myron Reed Myron Reed hot fire Crown of Glory champion. He's wearing the crown, and he is the king of Glory Pro. Since man has stood in history, we have fought, scrapped to escape these dreamscapes of pure terror, where the fangs are reaching toward us, teeth bared sharp, eyes glowing red. And we pray to whatever we pretend to believe in to get us away, to help us survive one more day. And you too, Myron Reed, Jason Kincaid, you decided that was a world you wanted to step into. With a smile on your face. I could have taken you straight to the top and kept you right in the spotlight of glory, chased by an army led by yours truly, Jason Saint. But instead, you decided to turn against me. You both could have had it all, but now I'm gonna take everything that either of you have ever dreamed of and turn it into a nightmare. And that nightmare's name is Baracus. Look into these eyes. No emotion. Only agony in the future of both of you and anyone else who decides to put us in your crosshairs. Glory Pro, let's get weird. Ah, calm down, Kincaid. Calm down. It's just, it's just that I never thought it would end so soon. 
and the fans are coming up to me and they're saying, Jason, your foot was underneath the rope. Jason, it seems like the referee's count was a little bit off, but it's not really the referee's fault. And it's not really my and Reed's fault. Jason, say, Barakis, what the hell are you? Calm, Jason, calm. What the hell are you thinking? Interfering in my match. Interfering in my title reign. Myron Reed, I will see you in the ring again. I respect you as a competitor, but I will decimate you. And I mean that sincerely with no anger at all. Jason Saint, Barakis on the other hand. It's more than just sports now, isn't it? Tonight was the biggest win of my wrestling career. I became the crown of glory champion. And one thing I didn't do, no matter what the finish was tonight, I did not side or never will I side with Jason Saint. And speaking of titles, speaking of titles, May 26, I defend the Crown of Glory Championship against Phoenix. Now this, that's my biggest test as being champion, but I'm ready. And I'm not losing this title anytime soon.